y'all doing? Haven't really sat down and chatted with y'all for a bit. Mine just too in your face. Here we go. Um, it has been crazy busy. You know, I, I seem to say that every time I get on here. It's like, oh my gosh, it's been so busy. Well, it really has been. Um, we had Chris's birthday week that he he insists on having a whole week. Um, it actually started from one Saturday to the following Sunday. And we had a big campfire with two of the kids and played apples to apples after that. And then through the week, we had work to do, but we ended up um, doing that in Richmond. Originally, we were going to go to the mountains, but there was so much smoke up there um, from the forest fires that we decided we would work our Richmond area and then Chris could do some sightseeing. He wanted to go back and tour, try to gar some more, and then there was an Irish pub that we wanted to try and some city dogs that we wanted to try. Just some things that we have not tried when we were in Richmond. And we decided to stay at a bed and breakfast instead of a motel like we usually do in Richmond. So you saw those videos previously. Chris is not real thrilled with the bed and breakfast concept. Um, the owners were very well. The female owner is still alive, and she's probably 90, and her granddaughter does the cooking, and you know how everybody just sits down, has breakfast together and stuff. Chris just does not feel like being that interactive with strangers early in the morning. So he can interact with me, people he likes, but just not people he doesn't know. And so he said the next time he would prefer staying in the city um so we worked all day tuesday and came back ate at buffalo wild wings because we were so tired on election night and the food just wasn't great the atmosphere wasn't great it was very loud the older we get the more trouble we have with loud noises crowds yada 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 so we went back and we weren't going to watch the election results because like we had voted we were tired but we were the only ones in this big huge house and we started watching them and then it was just like you know watching a game in overtime or something we had we had to stay up and so it was like four o'clock in the morning before we went to bed and we had to be up and work um in richmond that morning and so when the when we finished up, we went to the um, Irish pub, and we were so tired, we couldn't even eat. They boxed up half of our food so we could take it back, and we, I took a nap. Chris stayed up and finished up some projects for work, and then we, we did not leave the rest of the night. I think he went up to the little store to buy some snacks, but we just basically were vegetables. And then we had to work the whole next day. Um, and came home Friday we tried to do home based business you know with our computer shop here in town and then um, Saturday morning we ended up working in Fayetteville and then we went over to my son and daughter in law's house and the guys watched the baby so I, I took Kathy shopping for her birthday that was day after Christmas and then we met everybody at Carabas for dinner which was real nice. My father-in-law paid, which was even better. So anyhow, that's been our week. Um, Sunday, we barely moved yesterday. We barely moved. Um, yeah, so today we had to work in Raleigh, and now we're finishing up some odds and ends. One of the things that we did was to harvest our fig trees before the frost which happened last night, no, not before last. We woke up and the fig tree had bit the dust. The frost had just gotten to it. It was our first heavy frost. There was ice on the bowls, the animal water bowls. And so I want to show you our fig harvest that we had bought Brie in anticipation for. Um, yeah, this is the big fig Newton right here, baby. We got 
a fig. The rest of them just, the frost got them. They did not mature soon enough before the frost. And, and that probably would not have happened had we nurtured that fig tree a little bit more. But um, we didn't. We didn't get figs. Hurricane Matthew, I think, took down two of the apple trees. Didn't take them down, but they're not real solid in the ground. A good wind will blow those over, so we've got to address those. Along with just like a whole bunch of other issues that are not going to happen this month. We've got a lot of work to do around the old homestead here. And, and we're just packed through the month of, of November. Um, we've got work, work, Thanksgiving, work. Um, going up to visit one of the grands, um, babysitting the other grands. I am going to try to go to my Bible study. I've missed the last two, one with the trip to, with Kathy and then one today that I missed because we just had so much work to do. I had to go. And, uh, yeah, it's just a crazy month. I mean, thankfully I have all my Christmas shopping done. The dog is, Lincoln is chasing the cat. Lincoln! Let me see if I can show you. She's taunting him. Can you see this? I don't know if you can see it or not. Look at there. <laughs> you can't get her, can you? And you want to eat her. Um, I did receive... She just messes with him. It's so bad. I did get the cutest Thanksgiving card. This is from Lila RC. And she has a channel um, called Lila RC. And, and so Chris is going to do what? Build something. I don't know. But anyhow, is that not the cutest little card? He's supposed to be doing computer work, and I don't know how he is fixing a computer with an impact drill. I just don't know. But that's what it sounds like. Or a screw gun. I don't know. So anyhow, I am finished with my Christmas shopping. Very pleased about that. Um, I've got it sorted into piles all over this room so that I can start wrapping. I did finish these two bags. I gotta line them. Um, but yeah, and finish them off. These are for the babies, the two older grandsons. They're not even two yet. But anyhow, there's some appliques that I need to crochet to go in there, and then put like a road stripe in here. And the whole idea is to do like a little um, theme of construction toys. They're into the VTech stuff now. Um, so, I bought a bunch of VTech construction toys and like um, some books on diggers and backhoes and stuff, dump trucks, and like little matching shirts so they could do that. That was their theme this year. And Ethan's is a puppy theme because he's, he's our little puppy. He'll be actually seven months old. He was born in April. Yeah, seven months old this Christmas. So, anyhow, um, that's about it from the homestead. Um, working on crocheting a blanket while we travel. Have a lot of downtime. Um, yeah. It's busy. It's busy. We've got um, to head north. A couple hours tomorrow and do some work and then come back and have dinner with some friends. Um, I'm going to try a hash brown casserole in the crock pot. I'm not sure that that's going to happen, but I'm going to try it. And uh, yeah, it's been busy and I hope to do some more updates and have some more fun things going on, but we just work and hang out with family and. You know, I don't know how many pictures of the grandbabies that you can see all the time. I 
I prom well, I don't promise, but I hope that December is going to be a lot more interesting with us doing some more farm chores around here and updating and upgrading a few things. So, um, yeah, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, be our friends, and hopefully I will talk to you soon. Y'all take care. Bye.